Aquarius, how are you doing? Welcome to Silavi Tarot. Let's take a look and see what the messages are for you at this time. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus signs. If you're new, welcome. Welcome to your reading. All right, what is going on with Aquarius? Ooh. Money. <laughs> money, you're focused on your money right now. Manifesting money here, right? Um, a lot of balance. I kind of feel like this is more so like personal issues, right? I don't know if I would say issues, right? But personal things like... I really want to focus on getting a new car. I want to focus on uh, fixing things around the home. I want to focus on balancing out my finances. There's something big about your finances, as you could see. Possibly readjusting my spending here. There's something big about gr becoming more grounded and taking a look at where you want to invest your time, honestly, Aquarius. And I feel like this is such a powerful year for you. Um, this is such a powerful time for you here. It is saying also it's very important for you to like go through your, your statements or go through like some of the small details. Some of you possibly missed out on certain things and you could find out that you possibly have um, uh, little gaps and things that you could uh, eliminate so you're not uh, you know, just having money go down the drain. So that could be for someone in particular. But I feel like right now your money's getting better. Why? Because that is your focus. That is your focus. Uh, you are grounded. I also feel like for some of you, you're doing a lot of things with your looks. You're changing your looks here, right? You're investing in yourself. You're investing in yourself. You're possibly taking a class, a course here. Um, a lot of you could be in a place where you're having to build somewhat of a rapport or a relationship with a supervisor or someone around you. I just feel like you're getting promoted or you're just moving up the ladder, right? When it comes to your stability and it comes to your finances here. And you know, as much as I love to talk about love, money's the energy right now. Money and stability and success. And not to say that you're not doing well financially because a lot of you are, right? That's the spirit. But I just feel like they're, you're just tuning things up a little bit okay what else is going on with my beautiful aquarians at this time what's happening at this ooh. walking away could be walking away from again a financial obligation right walking away from <laughs> you know this is love what happened here? So it looks like at some point you had to walk away from a situation here. And of course, for some of you, this could be finances, right? Like I really want to walk away from this job or I really want to walk away from drama at the job or situations that don't really serve me. Um, I do get that for some of you, you are walking into a better space when it comes to work, right? You're gaining into, you're gaining like, again, a better position. That's basically what I'm saying. Cause I saw you elevating, right? Very positive energy. Uh, the one thing I love about you, Aquarius, you are very, you're very positive right? Um, I don't feel like you allow negativity to enter your matrix, even when you're going through it, even when, you know, you feel like, oh, wow, everything's just not going right. I feel like you just remain in a very positive place, very positive outlook. Okay. Now, when it comes to love here, it looks like there is something here that you had to walk away from in order to get more stability in your life. And we're going to dig into this. We have attachment here. Could have been with a Taurus, could have been with an Aries or a Libra or even a Scorpio. But I just feel like there's something that you're starting to notice about your love language or maybe the way that, um, you know, the way I love or the people that I attract also could be a Cancer. There's an energy of I was attached to a situation and I possibly still think about it, but I think about it in ways of, you know, learning here. There is someone here that's a little bit upset that you made a decision, okay? Someone here could be a little bit upset that you had to pull money back. Maybe you were giving someone um, a lot of time, you were investing in them, or maybe, again, um, someone here doesn't want to give someone money anymore, possibly, right? I was attached to um, giving and giving and giving. For some of my queries that are watching, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I feel like someone here was trying to buy someone or, or like I was trying to overdo a situation just to find out that it wasn't balanced or it wasn't fair okay 
But there's something about attachment here. And we'll look into that. But I do feel like someone here could be upset that you pulled your energy back. Or you pulled away or you walked away. It's like it's like they wanted you to stay here. Also could be a Virgo. Let's get a little bit more and see what the vibes are. Actually, I'm drawn to touch this deck. I'm drawn to touch, touch this energy here. I also feel like someone here could also apologize to you, Aquarius. Or maybe you have to apologize to someone. What's happening in love for Aquarius at this time? What's the love energy? Yeah, I'm exhausted. Something was very toxic for you, right? It's like I literally had to come out of this situation. I had to come out of the situation here. Something, and I feel like for some of you, you know, this could have been something that really drained you to some degree, but I feel like you found the confidence and you found the strength to really just leave right? To really come out of it here. It was really draining you. Well, let's turn this off. It was really draining you at some point, but I feel like, again, you're coming out of this here. For some of you, you started to pick up on this person's deception. You started to pick up on this person's negativity, possibly. And again, you just said to yourself, I, I really can't do this. Or maybe this person's back and forth to some degree. How does this person feel about Aquarius at this time? I heard... I miss you. Okay. How does this person feel about Aquarius? I dream about you. I dream about all the possibilities of what could possibly happen here. Someone here didn't really expect you to stick up for yourself here. I just get this person in their feelings. Like this person could have had a lot of options or they're feeling like you have a lot of options. But there's just this energy of someone that you're connecting with just it's like at times they try to not take accountability is what I'm getting. And I feel like you're still in their energy here. And this person, I feel like this is someone here that would come in and try to reach out to you here. What is the seven of cups about here? I see a lot on this person's mind when it comes to this connection, a lot on their mind. It's like they're replaying some of the things that were said, some of the things that were done here. Could be an Aries. This person wants to know, like, do you still value me? Like, do you still care about me? Although I've been a bit secretive and closed off, do you still value me here? <laughs> this is someone here that's like trying to get your attention, right? I try to get your attention by posting things, by talking about my status. Some of you, like someone here is interested in you and it could be at work. And it's like they're trying to get your attention by like talking, you know, when someone's like talking in the background or um, saying things out loud so you could hear them, or maybe they're like sending you messages or sending you things because they're trying to get your attention. It's like someone, it, it's like they're running out of options or running out of things to do is what I'm getting. How do I get Aquarius's attention is what I see. How do I get your attention? Should I slip? Should I make a loud noise? Should I send you a text? Should I post a quote? What should I do? Because I feel guilty. I feel bad. I feel alone without you. I want a relationship. I would like a relationship here. Some of you feel like this person really shut you out. It's like they would never let you in. Also, Aquarius, be aware, someone here, well, you don't have to be aware, but someone here wants to like move in with you or they want to live with you or they feel like ever since you've been gone, I've been alone. I've been, how, I've been outside on my own here. How does Aquarius feel about this situation, please? Yeah, three, three of wands here. Like a lot of you, you, you tried to communicate with this person. You tried to open up and you feel like this person just possibly doesn't understand or they don't understand where you're coming from at times or they didn't understand where you were coming from. There could be some sort of distance here. What's happening with my single Aquariuses? Singles? <laughs> What's happening with the single energy here? Ooh, Queen of Wands really focused on money huh and you're looking great some of you could be pushing people away right 
not really interested in these attempts, not really interested in people that are really coming towards you. You possibly feel like, yeah, it's not the one, or maybe I'm still recovering from something. Yeah, I'm still recovering from something. There could be still something on your mind. Could be like, I really need to focus on my health and my money. I would love to entertain you. I would love to take this great offer of you asking me out or flirting with me. But right now, my eye is on the prize. I feel like that's what you're doing, Aquarius. It could be something about like photography or like arts or cooking someone wants to like have a cooking business or a doctor like I, you know, I hear a doctor too like a physician health my health is important i'm hearing okay oh family stability some of you are buying a new home here going to visit family here something about family is so important to you like i know i need to balance myself out before i think about certain things so it's like you're trying to build a foundation before you jump into anything here and again some of you are healing i just get like there's like a bright energy around you for some of you actually this year you might actually meet a soulmate okay you might actually meet somebody here that meets your expectations your requirements here yeah i feel and it it's one of those things where you start to attract the people that you want. You had to go through something. There's something here that you had to acknowledge here. And I feel like there's a lot of manifestations. Like I've dreamt of this person. Or I've, I've had dreams about the situation here. Could be at work too. I'll talk to you soon. This is your reading. Of course if you're interested in a personal reading. My link is below. And I will talk to you soon. Have a good one.